So did you know each other before filming? No, no, no. Obviously knew, um, well not obviously, I obviously knew of Killian um, before um, and uh, I, it's a very small business I always say and uh, actors, there isn't, wouldn't be one actor of note whose name comes up that you haven't heard something about or you don't have a friend in common or whatever so there's no difference really with Killian. I'd only heard good things and I was a massive fan of his body of work so um, we met up before we started filming. We both knew we were doing it and had dinner in London, and you know, just immediately got on very well and knew that we were uh, going to be in for a good, a good experience. Yeah, I mean, same. same. Uh, it was funny though, because when we met, uh, myself and my wife were obsessed to fall. We were like right in the middle of watching that, and and so then to hang out, it was you know, I kind of I was shy. No, I wasn't. <laughs> it was a good <laughs> No, you know it's 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 always a gamble when you when you when you make a uh, a two hander because you ha you know you never know what's going to happen with the with the with the mm -hmm. casting, um, but luckily we, we 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 got on and hopefully that transfers on on screen hopefully. It does. Good. Um, so how did you research the time period and the men you portrayed? I I heard that there was a historian on the set. Yeah. Yes. Um, there was, yeah. There, I mean, the, 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 when you're dealing with a real life situation and a, and a factual piece of history, um, there's so much to draw on. You know, even if uh, Killian and I, neither of us knew anything about this operation prior to the script being sent our way. But once you know you're doing it, there's so much to draw upon. And uh, Sean Ellis, the director, has been trying to make this for 12 years and gathering information for 12 years. So you can only imagine how much uh, stuff, uh, documentation he had, which was extremely helpful. And he sort of passed that over to us um, you know very early on in the process um, which was which was incredible and um, you know uh, the, the thing about playing real life characters is that you you adds a whole other pressure to it and, and you want to you want to get it right you want to be respectful and honorable to the, the men and women involved so um, we definitely thought about that every day um, am I answering that as well um, you don't have to. If you don't want to. We can move to the next question if you want. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, what was it like filming filming the last scene? Well, the thing of the mad thing about that was because we had been shooting like so closely together, uh, Jamie and I and Sean, obviously, mm -hmm. for like sort of like, six weeks. For and then, ja Jamie shot his his the whole death sequence in the in the that siege in the church, and I went home, oh. and then. I, I came and did my bit in the crypt, and Jimmy had wrapped by then. Yeah. So it was very strange and kind of uh, disconcerting because all of a sudden the sort of the gang had been broken up. You know what I mean? And it was quite you know affecting uh, doing that stuff. It was because it was the first time we were separate. And then when you see the movie, obviously I'd never seen any of that stuff, mm -hmm. and I was absolutely blown away by that that whole sequence. So yeah, it, it was strange having the fact that we'd been so intensely working together and then split apart. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, I mean, I, I really was really, really moved when I um, watched, you know, Killian's death, Yosef's death, when I first saw the movie, because, yeah, it's for those same reasons, I'd wrapped and we'd sort of said goodbye and it ended up being this really sort of anticlimactic goodbye. Yeah. When we'd, we'd, like, we'd been just living in each other's pockets for, like, you know, seven weeks of, like, really intense and just every day on set, and then suddenly I was, like, wrapped and you were doing all the water stuff in the crypt, and, and uh, I really find that very emotional because, you know, it was, like, Watching like a brother like perish, yeah. you know, it's um, it was it hit me very hard. Okay, now you both get an individual question each. Um, yeah. so this is your first film since Fifty Shades. Um, were you purposely looking for a role that was completely different, or it was just coincidence? Kind of coincidence. I mean, I, I don't. I, um, Killian says this as well. I mean, it's such a random business, this, and um, you, you simply can't plan mm -hmm. for it. Um, an actor's life is so. Um, sporadic and random and, and, and anything can happen and you, you just go with things that you're drawn to um, I don't want to do only do a certain genre of movie or like just do action movies or just do you know comedies or just, yeah, I wouldn't ever want to find myself just being defined like that and so um, uh, no there wasn't like a conscious choice mm -hmm. that I need to do something like that as a total departure okay. from that franchise but um, this just happened to be mm -hmm. a total departure from it and something that I was really into so kind of worked out like that. And your question is, um, you, when I, I learned that you were a rock musician as well. 
Well, I, I, I... Do you still play at all? Yeah, I mean, I played a lot until I was about 20. You know, was, mm -hmm. that's really what I wanted to do. That was my... It's a long time ago. <laughs> this is a long time ago. <laughs> it's 20 years ago. And I was, I was very into the idea of that, but then it just didn't work out. And I'm kind of glad that I, or, or, or my music has not been forced on the <laughs> wider population. <laughs> Quite happy doing what I'm doing. But I'm still obsessed with it. You know, it's, it's kind of my other passion uh, music.